dad was an amazing man. He was very strong, grew up on a farm, worked road construction, and as soon as my dad would get home from work, we'd, we'd come up here, and there's, there's several places where we would always go in on horse rides. He taught me how to saddle a horse. Spent a lot of time playing sports with him, being outdoors. When I was 14, I had a curveball thrown at me. My dad, he walks over, and he, and he embraces me, and he lets, he lets me know, he's like, hey, he's like, hey, Clark, I've, I've got cancer. You know, I'm 14, so fear, I mean, I, I was scared. I, I was. I can still relate to those feelings. I, I still look back today, and I can remember how I felt, and it still, it still brings back, it's like horror. <laughs> it's, it's scary. He was gone. Gone. I knew he was never going to be there again. I knew I was never going to see him again in this life. Death is hard. It's extremely, extremely difficult. But through my faith, through you know, understanding and learning about the gospel of Jesus Christ, and because of his resurrection, this life is not an end. This, I mean, when we die, it's not, it's not the ending. Just knowing that this is a plan, and the hope it brings, the happiness it brings, the peace, that's what keeps me going. And I know that that man who embraced me and loved me taught me how to work and to play. I will see him again, and I will be with him again. Last summer, me and my brothers, my brothers and I, whatever, we spent the summer the way we always do, at our grandpa's cabin. Yeah, the most kids are at some stupid camp. Me and my brothers, my brothers and I, whatever. We spent the summer learning old fashioned really cool music from our Japanese grandfather. Most days began the same way. Every morning he would wake us up with a different test. Grandpa's a kind of a goofball in a way, but when it comes to martial arts and stuff, he's pretty cool. Yeah, like he can slaughter 50 guys in two seconds. Would you chill? <laughs> Shut up! Keep going. Anyway, we've been training since we were really little. You're still really little. Jerk! The summer was ending and we were about to go back to school, but by now, we all thought that we were ready to be ninjas. Well, it's a good thing that we were, because that was a summer that we would never forget. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bad, man. Yeah, all right, come on, man. <laughs> Some drink.
here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever really seen this movie. By attacking in a non-smoking section. We almost oh, had you. you. Yeah, we almost had you. Had me. Oh, Michael. What? If I, I hadn't stopped, stopped the car, car you would have been called pancake by now. now. You would have stopped. Okay, good. Yeah. But now, let's do it again. Ah, two lessons you have to learn from this battle. Number one, never attack unless you're gonna win. And lesson two, don't climb a tree that's full of thorns. It, it is a pleasure to do business, do business with, with you, Mr. Snyder. Snyder. Now, on behalf of the people of my country, I would, I would like, like to say, say you're under arrest. Please, Snyder, on the ice!
Agent Green is okay. And we got everything. We got guns, the mortars. It's like, like a way out of World War III. We got, got, we got, got nothing. I want, I want Snyder. He's everything. everything. I want, I want him. him. I gotta go. I hear they almost got us, boss. Leave. Got, got me, me, bro. bro. Not us.
Sidekick yeah. movie is coming next. Yeah, actually, see. a little bit more funnier. Got a lot of Chuck Norris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jerry, remind me of the guy that 
Philosophy, like other men. Are they? I don't know for sure, but I know they do a lot of reading. 